And this, this little turtle is kind of my intro to this world. Now, I wasn't going to include this, but I had a chance to give a small presentation in Hong Kong for, for Porter's uh, group in June. And when it was over, Steve Sugarroo looked at me and he said, and I, I did not talk about the turtles at that moment in time. And Steve looked at me and said, Mike, you've got to talk about the turtles. You've got to talk about the turtles. So I figured, well, you know, this time I'll, I'll just go straight into it. So back in 1983, very famous trader, Richard Dennis, he makes a couple hundred million dollars by the age of 37 years old. He looks at his partner and he says, I'm not special. His partner's like, oh, come on, man, you're a savant. You're brilliant. You're 37 years old. You just made $200 million in 1982, 83 dollars. What's that, a billion? I mean, this guy, was, this guy was the biggest, baddest trader on the block. And at that point in time, there would have been two traders that were really top of the heap. One name I'm about to say, nobody, I'm sure many people in this room might not be fond of politically, but from a trading perspective, at that time, it was George Soros and Richard Dennis. So Richard's partner said, hey, you, you can't teach people this. And Richard's like, no, no, I'm not special. We can teach this. We can teach people this. They saw the movie Trading Places with Eddie Murphy. That was their inspiration. They put an ad in the paper, and they hired trainees. They gave them two weeks of training, and they gave them a set of quantitative trading rules. At the end of four years, that group of 20 students left on their own, made over $100 million profit. So it's this great example of nurture trumping nature. For anybody in the audience that might think, oh my gosh, I can't possibly be a good investor. I don't think that's the case here because you wouldn't be here. But, you know, a lot of people are like that. They really don't think I can do this. But Dennis proved you could teach. You could teach rules. And he taught his students trend-following rules. Trend-following rules are quite simple. It's a momentum-style trading. Your entry can be an assortment of different things. It could be a moving average crossover. It could be a breakout. Nothing sexy. All you're looking for is some momentum. Again, think of the Bitcoin chart. What did you really have to know about Bitcoin as it went from 1,000 to 2,000 to 4,000 to 6,000? Did anyone in this room have to know anything about the fundamentals of Bitcoin? Why? What was the, why would anyone have to know anything? All you had to know was, let's get in. Let's get in. And let's have a stop. And let's see what happens. 